Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 30 of my Liverpool career. And in today's episode, we're going to be on with plenty of matches. The first game, as you can see, is against West Ham. It's the way match for us to play in the league, and we currently find ourselves top of the league uh, in front of Tottenham. Played an extra game than them, though, so if they were to obviously win that match, we'd only be three points in front. We'll wait and see how we get on against West Ham. Before we do, though, if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as well, and that'd be absolutely fantastic, too. And uh, as you can see, Firmino has won player of the month for January so very happy with that and uh, he won't actually be starting in this game because he has got himself a bit of an injury and so he doesn't start this game Mariano just starts up front instead this is the team going to go with uh, Alisson starts in goal go as a right back Matip, Marquinhos and Alexandro in defence got Henderson, Wijnaldum and Fekir in midfield with Oxley, Chamberlain, Mariano and Salah as our front three so we're going to go with a bench that looks like this as well Van Dijk, Turney, Keita, Woodburn, Session, Pulisic and also Solanke on the bench there as well a few players changed obviously the front three isn't the usual one, uh, partly down to injuries and also energy issues as well, but uh, we did play Man United, I think it was just three days ago, so that's the reason for the changes. Let's go with the game, let's try and get ourselves three points, hopefully uh, end up with a good victory here. Okay, let's crack on with this game at the London Stadium, try and get ourselves a victory here against West Ham, and uh, hopefully come away with three points in this game. Always a tricky one, especially when you make change to the team, but I think in this case you'd expect us to win, but even with the changes, it's a very strong side we put out, and I don't think there's been enough changes for me to have too many concerns. We've still got to try and win the match, tough game, let's see how we get on. Matip coming out of defence just to try and put some more pressure on them here early on. Fekir looking to Mariano, turns away, back into Mariano. Good chance, shoots and scores. It's 1-0 inside 8 minutes. Fantastic play from us once again. We've opened up them uh, the in defence and we just managed to find the back of that. Really impressive stuff. Mariano gets, I think, maybe his first goal. I can't quite remember. Uh, he's not been at the club that long, but uh, he has played a few times. I can't remember whether he has scored or not, though. I'm not too sure. This might well be his first goal. If it is, it's quite a good one to get. He's heavily involved in it. Nice little one-two there with Wijnaldum, I think it was. And he's able to slot home. It's 1-0. Great start to the game. I should add that the sliders have also been changed slightly in favour of West Ham once again. I'll just change them now, I should say. So we've changed them a little bit. And uh, they have gone down once again in order to make things more difficult for ourselves. We've gone down in some aspects, gone up in other aspects in order to try and make it more difficult for us. So these are the current sliders that I'm on. And we'll see how these go for this match. Like I said, I've literally just changed them, so we'll see the effects now. Good opportunity here, Werner across the box. One all straight from kickoff. And uh, that is our bad response there from West Ham. They're just going to grab themselves a goal. Just a few moments later, we're 12 minutes in. It's already been two goals in this game. They equalised really well. Kept hold of possession fantastically. We couldn't get anywhere near them. Couldn't win back the ball. Dived in there necessarily with Sandro. And it's across the box. Should do better with that one. I think Gomez has to mark. Uh, Kramaric in the middle is better, but he didn't. And so he scores a little tap in. One more. Go on. Oh, we've scored. It's gone in. It's 2-1. We've scored. And we're back in front as easily as that, just five minutes later. It's end-to-end -end stuff at the moment, both teams having occasional attacks. I didn't anticipate that one going in, though. It was on his left foot, and I just thought I'd have a go. It wasn't particularly good, but it was enough to go past the goalkeeper. It's 2-1, and 17 minutes in, there's now been three goals in this game. It's been a very lively start for both teams, and uh, we've just managed to score a goal out of nothing, really. Great little layoff, another bit of a combination there between uh, Mariano, the striker, and Wijnaldum. And this time, he finishes into the top right-hand corner, 2-1. Great chance here, Cranbridge through to Werner, and this should equalise, such a good chance, Werner just puts it wide, grab shoots for West Ham to get themselves back a level terms once again, they've opened us up, goalkeeper comes off his line, probably unnecessarily really, could have been lobbed, could have just scored it past him, but he did neither, and it's now wide. Mariano, great chance for him, looking across the box, and it's a tap in for Fekir, we'll take a third goal, thank you very much, got to the byline, cuts it back, and just about managed to slot it home, ahead of the defender, Fekir scores, and a couple of minutes before half time, we've managed to get ourselves a two goal advantage over West Ham now, which is good, and hopefully that'll put us in a better position going into the second half to go on and win this game. Got to make sure we stop the response though, because that's what we had also after the first goal. They responded pretty much straight away. Hopefully we don't get that with this goal as well. That's it for the first time still in the game 1-0. Obviously good to be in front. Uh, happy that we've got ourselves a good advantage here over West Ham. Certainly deserved it as well. We've played good football at times. Open them up. And they have with us as well. They've had one or two opportunities. They could really be at 3-2 at this point. Um, but it isn't quite that scoreline. We'll wait and see what comes in the second half. Hopefully we manage to keep hold of our lead. Henderson 
over to Joe Gomez. Chance for Joe Gomez now. And that's the fourth goal of all the players. Joe Gomez who runs up from right back and scores. And it's just a case of getting an extra man over there on that right-hand side. Cause them issues. The fullback was occupied by uh, other attackers. And that allows the fullback to come forward. He's not really known for doing that. It's not really obviously one of our faster fullbacks. He can also play centre-back as well. So he has that sort of build about him. But uh, he has got forward really well there as a fullback. And been our extra man to find that shot and, and score the goal. So it's a fourth one for us now. And we're in a really good position to go on and come through in this game. Chance here for West Ham. Coming forward. Got to get close to them. Try and close them down. They've run away from goal instead. We managed to intercept the ball brilliantly there. And win it back off Klein, our former player as well. Great ball in. Oh, it's an own goal, I think. Or maybe not an own goal. We'll wait and see. But it's 4-2 anyway. West Ham have scored. And they've put us under a bit of pressure. There's 25 minutes to go. Still enough time for them to get two goals for sure. Uh, I'm not really too sure we've got the final touch there. I'm hoping it's not an own goal. But we'll wait and see. It looks like it might have been. We've not managed to deal with this properly. Couldn't quite stop the cross. It's not an own goal. No touch at all. And it's 4-2. This could be quite a lively end. Okay, so all three changes. 25 minutes to go. Session, Solanke and Pulisic all going to come on. We'll take off Salah, Mariano and Fekir. That means Wijnaldum will go at centre attack in mid. Also Chamberlain coming in and plays a centre mid now rather than playing as a right winger. So we'll go with that slight tweak to the tactics, obviously, and the personnel a little bit as well. But we'll go with it to see how we get on. Solanke probably a bit more height up front for us now. Pulisic running forward has to be a fifth here. He's got the better of Luke Shaw. Oh, the run is dreadful. Tried to open up my body to get the shot away. Obviously didn't work. Goalkeeper came out and did a good job, to be fair. But should have been a fifth for us there. Pjotic into Solanke. Great chance. Solanke, yes, he scores. That's the fifth goal. Goalkeeper gets the gloves to it, but it's not enough. Great strike from, obviously, the substitute there. Gets a good finish on it and finds the top left-hand corner really well. Good little ball through. It's pretty comfortable, really, at this stage of the game. West Ham have thrown loads of plays forward. It's left it very open at the back. And that means we were able to capitalise on it. Good finish from Solanke. And he gets himself another goal for us. Solanke, ball through to Wijnaldum. Great chance for him. Wijnaldum running through. Could this be a sixth? Yes, it is. 6-2. And we've got ourselves another goal. That's the only issue on this game. It gets to the point where the opposition just throw the whole team forward. And it just makes it so easy for you towards the end of the game to score these sort of late goals. And uh, that's obviously because their defence just totally collapses. And so that's the only thing. It just turned from a fairly realistic scoreline to sort of like 5-6 and beyond. So the six minutes to go. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a seventh, really. And that's it. Finishes 6-2. Very, very happy with that scoreline. Really impressed by the performance and the results. No doubt about, about it. The West Ham could have had maybe another two goals. They're never going to win the game, really. But they definitely did challenge us. And have put in a good performance themselves. But it clearly wasn't enough. We had more quality. We took our chances, which they didn't. And quite deservedly got ourselves three points. Impressed by that. Hopefully going to put ourselves a little bit further at the top of the league table now. You can see by the stats, definitely deserve the victory. Uh, six goals is probably a little bit over the top. But that's, what, again, what like I say, what happens when the defence opens up so much towards the end of games. Good news for us this week. Sanchez goes up to 64 overall. Uh, he still reigns in our youth academy, I think. And is continuing to go up in overall there. So we're going to keep him there for a little bit longer. Uh, but he has a great potential. So uh, we are going to make sure that he gets the right training. And I hope he'll come into the first team at some point. Okay, so this game now against Wolves. We are going to be suing this game. So we can get to more important match against Bayer Leverkusen in four days' time. We're going to go with the change team. Alisson starts in goal. Gomez, Matip, Dillit, Tony, Henderson. Oxford Chamberlain, Cook, Pulisic, Origi, and Session all starting. Let's crack up with this game. Let's try and get ourselves a victory here against Wolves. They're playing a 5 2 2 1, which is a bit of a different formation, obviously, but I'm hoping we've got enough in the team to be able to break them down and be able to score goals against them. I suppose we'll wait and see. Still on paper, a good enough team to beat them, no doubt about it. It's whether we will be able to do that. Neves goes off injured. That's a good start for us. We've got to get a goal, though, into the second half, and we're still waiting for a goal. Woodburn comes off for Session and 30 minutes to go. Still looking for a goal. 25 minutes left. Can we actually get one? We're going to skip. And it finishes 1 0 Wolves. This score with a minute to go. Ah, okay. I've lost that game. That's not really gone as planned. Good news for us. Roberto Firmino is coming back from injury. That's fantastic news. A little bit quicker than I was expecting as well. So maybe he'll be ready for the next game. Probably not for the game against Bayern Leverkusen, though, unfortunately. It might well be the one after that. Although he's saying he's okay to play. We'll wait and see about that. I'm not really too sure. I don't want to risk it. To be fair, I think he could start for us in this match. Okay, let's crack up with this game against Bayer Leverkusen. Go with a full strength team for this match. Anson starts in goal. Alexander Arnold, Mankinios, and Van Dijk in defence, alongside obviously Alexandro. We've got Wijnaldum, Keita, and Fekir in midfield with Mane, Firmino, and Salah as our front three. And we'll go with that team. I'm pretty happy with it, so we'll see how we get on with that. The bench looks like this with Joe Gomez, the only defender on there. Uh, we've got Henderson alongside him as well, Oxford Chamberlain, Pulisic, uh, Session, Solanke, and Mariano all on there as well. Let's go on the game. Let's 
that's trying our sales of H3. It is the away leg of the round of 16 of the Champions League. So an important one to try and get a goal or two in uh, at least. And so we'll see how we get on against them. Obviously a very good team. And uh, I will wait and see how we do. Okay, so let's crack on with this game now against Bayern Leverkusen. Try and get ourselves a great tree. Not really too sure what to expect, particularly as we've changed the uh, sliders once again to make things more difficult. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens in this game. Just hoping we can still put on a good performance. It is our strongest team, so you'd imagine we should be able to do that. And uh, looking for, obviously, a couple of away goals. Chance here by Leverkusen over the bar. The start off quite lively. It looks at a good start for them. Had a few chances. They made quite a lot of signings as well. Uh, Batshuayi starting up front for them. We've got Savage at the back. Uh, Lallana, obviously, they bought off us. They've made quite a few signings and uh, some decent ones as well. And nearly a chance for Mane, though. It was nearly passed right at him. Go on. Oh, it's a goal. And it's from Salah, I think, as well, who's headed into the back of the net. I'm pretty sure our first shot of the game, it's 20 minutes in, we've scored. It's against the run of the play, definitely. Uh, by Lopez would be the better team. But Salah scores a header from that corner. Very bizarre. Don't think you'll see that happen too many times. And uh, there's a great delivery into the box, I think, from Fekir with the short one. Uh, really good delivery. Salah not picked up properly. Able to out-jump a couple of players around him and score into the back of the net. Really good connection on the header. And he puts it in front, 1-0. That's obviously an away goal, which we really wanted as well. Salah running forward, waiting for Mino to get into the box. Could see it back, looking for the cross. It's a bit behind him and smashed away into the stands. A bit bizarrely, but we'll take a corner. Hopefully we can score again with Salah from this. Don't know where he is this time now. We'll cross it into the middle. Good chance again. And we've scored. And this time I think it's Van Dijk who gets the final touch. I thought it was Manny who got the connection, but Van Dijk runs away and celebrates. We'll take it as him scoring. I'm not really too sure. Look back at the replay. I'm sure it was uh, Manny who got the header. They were both certainly going for it anyway. Van Dijk goes away and celebrates though for the second goal. And it's a second away one for us as well. Good little short corner once again. Van Dijk just seems to get away from his man. And yeah, no one follows him. Easy header for him once again. Terrible defending from that corner from Bayer Leverkusen. Didn't learn the mistakes from last time. And we've doubled our lead. That's it for the first half. Still in the game 2-0. Really good scoreline for us. Happy to get two away goals. Uh, the only concern for me would be the fact that Bayer Leverkusen are having good chances. Luckily for us, they've not really taken them. Uh, they certainly had the chances before we'd even scored a goal. In the opening 20 minutes, they looked really good. Since then, they drifted off and uh, allowed us into the game. So, we'll wait to see what happens in the second half. I'm hoping the game doesn't flip on its head again. Okay. Go on. Great chance. Keita brings it down. Oh, smashes the bar. What a hit on his left foot that was as well. Such a good opportunity for us to add a third. We've still got another chance maybe here with Mane. And we've lost out, but it's such a good opportunity there. Thought Keita had scored. What a goal that would have been. 20 minutes to go. We're going to make two changes. Pulisic and Henderson to go on. We'll take off Keita and also Mane as well. Pressure things up a little bit and uh, see how we get on for the final 20 minutes. Good ball through. Oh, no. This is a good chance. It's 2-1. Damn, didn't expect it to pass it back like that. Very unpredictable from the opposition. About Schmei scores 2-1. And about 20 minutes still left in this game for them to try and get an equalising goal. Not good from us at all. You can see the ball's played through. They open up our defence. I bring the keeper out to stop the shot. And turns out he's going to pass it to the side. And that makes it much easier for them. So 2-1, they're back in this match. And that goal's come from nowhere, really. You we know, wait for the ball through there to Salah. Great opportunity for Salah to have a shot. Saved by the goalkeeper, prevents the third goal, which would have definitely killed off this game and also given us three away goals as well. Still got a chance here though, Fekai on the deliver from this corner. Can we score a third from here? Makinios connects, but tap and goal kick. Good opportunity, Bender's through, and he misses. <laughs> what a chance for Sven Bender there. Uh, in the final couple of minutes of this game, it's been played through. Obviously, the extra man that's uh, caused us a bit of an issue there on the overlap and hasn't been able to finish. The captain should do so much better. Goldkeeper comes out, does a good job, but doesn't actually need to save it in the end. And for a goal kick, should have been 2 all. That's it, finishes 2 1. Very happy with that result, especially with a great late chance at the end uh, for Bayer Leverkusen. But two away goals will put us in a good position going into the second leg. Disappointing, obviously, to concede through Batshuayi, but it was one of those situations where they pass it across and you can't really do too much. You can see by the stats, you deserve to win the game. Maybe could have been a bit more clinical with our chances at times, but overall happy with the 2 1 victory. Transfer friend here for Gallagher, Tony Gallagher. This one's come out of the blue a little bit from Doncaster. We're just going to accept it. I've never looked at the amount. What was it? 630 grand. Yeah, just get out the door any way possible. Okay, so let's move on to the final game of today's episode against Bournemouth. It is a cup game for us to play, and this is the team going to go with. Alisson starts in goal. Gomez, in fact, no, Alisson doesn't start in goal. Carrius will start in goal. Gomez at right back. Matip, De Ligt, and Tony in defence. We've got Oscar Chamberlain, Henderson, and Woodburn in midfield. Pilatech, Mariano, and Cesc Young start as our front three. Obviously a very changed team. We played a few days ago. I also wanted to make those changes, give players a bit of a run out so that don't get to play too much. Uh, Cook will come on at some point during this game because he hasn't had that much game time. He might get 45 minutes for we'll wait 
point to see the rest of the benches there. And uh, yeah, I think a pretty strong team for this game. Hopefully it's going to be enough to win the match. Okay, let's crack on this game against Bournemouth at Anfield to finish off today's episode. Obviously a number of changes made to the team. I uh, still think it's good enough to beat Bournemouth though, but I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, Burns, who's Mariano, great chance early on. What a save by the goalkeeper, trying to follow it up, still going. Woodburn, oh, tries an overhead kick, follows it up and scores four minutes into this game. The youngster eventually gets in the back of the net. He was heavily involved in also the initial build up play and then followed up with his own sort of overhead or scissor kick, whatever you want to call it. Not really too sure what it was. We'll look back on it now. And it was a scissor kick that we tried, but then he follows up and smashes it home into an empty net. Deserved it really for the ambitious uh, strike initially, and then fires it home for us. 1 0, great start to the game, first shot of the match. Sassy on top the Chamberlain, looking to the edge of the box here for Woodburn. This has gone badly, hasn't it? Uh, okay. No, it's fine, we'll still score. It's okay, Matip now trying to keep the build-up play going. Still a chance for Mariano, and we've lost it there. Session picks it back up though into the back post, and yeah, that's not good. Oh, thought he'd gone in. Wow, that's a very close chance of Bournemouth. A little bit all over the place there. Such a good opportunity. Thought they'd scored no goal for a second. We get a little touch on it by accident. Goalkeeper just about saves it though, luckily. It's out for a corner for us to defend here. So close. We carries with a great save there from a deflection and headed away by Matip. Sassi on charging past Max Gradle. Still hoping to try and get an attack if we can on the break. Oh, coming inside is sort of messed up there, hasn't he? That's it for the first half. Obviously, we find ourselves in a good position at the moment. Uh, happy with the lead. Hopefully, we can try and extend it a little bit in the second half. Needing, obviously, to get a uh, second and, and third goal, hopefully, if we can. Let's wait and see whether we're able to do that. Bournemouth are fairly resilient at the moment. We're also not creating as many chances as I'd hoped, but there's still plenty of time to try and add to the scoreline now. We'll burn the look for a chip across, hopefully. In talks to Chamberlain, but it's too near the goalkeeper. It wasn't supposed to be as close as that. Should have been just across, but... Hasn't quite worked out, unfortunately. Would have been a really good goal to have scored, but hasn't worked for us there. Chance here, and they've scored. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. It's wide. Wow, okay. I sure thought it's gone in, but it hasn't. Just gone wide. It hit the back of the goal, I think, and rippled the back of the net. But luckily, it stays out of the goal. Still it's 1-0. Bit of a scare for us there. Chance. And this time hit the post. And this time they smashed over the bar. Such a good opportunity once again. They could easily be in front at this point. Bournemouth haven't taken the chances and we are certainly on the back foot here. We've got to be careful because at this rate we're going to end up drawing or maybe even worse. Okay, all three changes. Solenke, Rigi and Cook to come on. We're going to take off Henderson, Pulisic and Woodburn. Mariano's just going to play in behind Solenke there. Had to bring on Solenke to give us a bit more height to hold the ball into a better position and allow the likes of Mariano and Cook to get forward beyond him. I don't really know when they'll come on but hopefully it won't be too long. And we'll come on now for the final 15 minutes. So see, I'm going to deliver into the box here. It's an outswinging ball. Origi's in there. Connects it really well, but a great save there by Begovic. Mariano, tight angle. Another save by Begovic. Keeps Bournemouth in this game. Uh, despite them, probably should be level at least in this match, you'd say. So I don't really know how they found themselves in this position. But we're still looking for a second goal because uh, the game isn't over at this point. Cook coming forward. Could he get that second goal? Oh, it's a dreadful shot. Oh no, not the right time to be doing that. But Santos runs onto it and gives us the ball straight back. It's kind of a... That's it, finishes 1-0. We'll take it. It's not the greatest victory ever, but we'll happily have that. And we should be into the next round. Now, I don't think they do two legs. I'm not really too sure, but that should be us into the next round. And that might well be Bournemouth knocked out. Happy with it. Obviously, at times he scared us. They had plenty of chances. They could have easily scored a couple of goals themselves. We should have had two or three maybe in that game, but we didn't quite manage to take the chances for whatever reason. Uh, but really impressed anyway that we do come away with the victory. And like I said, that should be us into the next round. We might, ev might even have leads in the next round, depending on how they get against Sheffield Wednesday. Although I think the draw will still yet to be made. So, yeah, looking good so far in the FA Cup. Seems to be well in that competition. And that will pretty much conclude today's episode. We've got uh, a Carabao Cup match to play against Newcastle. That's the final of the Carabao Cup as well to play next episode. Looking forward to that game. But that is everything for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well. And that'd be absolutely fantastic too. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.